In this problem, we're told, while running a marathon, a long-distance runner uses a stopwatch to time herself over a distance of 100 meters. She finds that she runs this distance in 18 seconds. Answer the following by considering ratios, without computing her velocity. If she maintains her speed, how much time will it take her to run the next 400 meters? And how long will it take her to run a mile at this speed? So we're told to use ratios. The way we do this is by taking uh, the distance they run, so 100 meters, right? And then we know they do this in 18 seconds. So 18 seconds. What you want to do is set it equal to the ratio you're trying to find. So for A, we're trying to find how long it's going to take her to run 400 meters. So what you want to do is take the same, or the distance up top, right? Because we wrote this distance up top. So 100 meters, they do it in this time. For 400 meters, they do it in some time that we have to solve for. So I'm just going to say it's x, right? So some variable. And then we're just going to go ahead and solve. So what you do by solving is multiply across. So you take 18 and multiply it by the across one. So if you do 18 times 400, uh, it's going to be 7,200. And then you do multiply across this way, but you set them equal. So this times this, which is this, equal to 100 times x, which is 100x. If you want to solve for x, right? So the time it'll take to run 400, just divide 7,200 7, divided by 100. If you do that, you're going to get 72. And keep in mind what we're solving for, right? Seconds. So it's going to be 72 seconds. So your answer to A is going to be 72 seconds. Now let's do B. So B is going to be how long will it take her to run a mile at the speed. So you want to start with the same ratio. So 100 meters for every 18 seconds, right? So but instead of, uh, we were saying she's going to run a mile, right? So you need to know that a mile is about 1,609 meters. So this is our new distance, right? And so we're going to do the same thing, just say x, right? Because x is how long it's going to take her to do this, and we're going to solve for this. So essentially do the same thing, 18 times 1,609. And so if you go ahead and do that, so take 18 times 1,609, you're going to get that it equals uh, 28,000. 962. So we multiply this across. Now we have to do this, right? So 100 times x. So 100x. If you divide by 100, so divide that number by 100, and you're going to get that x equals 289.62. Keep in mind it's going to be in seconds, right? So I'm going to round to the tenths place here. So 289.6 seconds. So this right here is going to be your answer to B, 289.6 seconds. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.